Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. I am here in Kalamazoo, um, which is my hometown if you don't know. If you're new to this channel, Kalamazoo is two hours west, two and a half hours west of Detroit. It's where I grew up and I was invited to speak at Kalamazoo Social Media Week tomorrow. So it's like a three day conference and I'm doing day two, which is tomorrow, April 20th. And I'm talking about when I first got invited, they said Instagram, but the official panel is called like visual. I don't remember. I'll put it here. Visual platforms or something. So I'm wondering if they're going to ask me about YouTube and stuff too. I kind of hope so because I'm not really like an Instagrammer, but obviously, you know, my job is social media, so I can definitely speak to it. But anyway, um, first thing, I know you guys are probably noticing these two dots because I cannot stop looking at them right underneath my eyes. Yes, they're pimples. Yes, they are. They are. So I just had a call, which I'm really excited about. So um, I have someone helping me out with um, a project I'm launching. It's kind of secret right now. Might be secret to you guys forever because it's not really related to this channel. Um, but yeah, she's really nice. So maybe I'll introduce you guys at some point. Maybe she can be in like a Skype or something. <laughs> um, these freaking pimple things are driving me up the wall. Like, I don't even know how to cover them up. I have like a million different concealers that I'm just piling on top of each other. Hold on. Just, I never get acne. I've never had acne or anything like in high school or whatever. So I don't really know how to like cover it up. Like, I'm not, I've never been good at covering it up because I never get it. I know is a blessing but I never get it but you can still see them so much Ugh. just casually pulling up behind this Porsche like what I am getting ready to go to the presentation but I thought I'd stop by my old office really quick where I used to intern um, and see if my old boss is here he's really nice so I'm gonna see if he is and say hi bummed out my boss my old boss uh, just went to an appointment so i missed him but i told the lady at the desk to tell me i said hi so i'm here at the radisson for social media week I'm a little bit early <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, it is the Sunday after I went to the um, thing in my hometown. So I thought I would update you a little bit on how that went. I think I'm gonna stop outside because it's really nice outside and I'm just preheating my oven. So, uno momento, por favor. So yeah, I went to the social media event in my hometown, it was so fun. It went really well. I ended up sitting on a panel um with two other lovely ladies one is the co-owner with her husband of damn handsome grooming company which is a kalamazoo local like beard company and they're also starting a line called damn fancy which is like a woman's course okay so i don't know if you heard any of that a uh, girl from maestro which is like an agency in kalamazoo was also there it was a really good panel i really enjoyed it we just mainly talked about instagram and also like youtube and video it was all about visual content so it was really good i unfortunately didn't get to vlog anything it just everything happened so fast like i would have asked somebody to vlog for me or just whatever but it just happened really fast and i went by myself so um but it was cool i got to see an old friend well, I was there and yeah, it was just really good. So um, I'll leave some links down below because there is like a blog post based on our panel. Oh, but anyway, it's a couple days later. I'm getting ready to actually do my first interview for Freelance Friday, which I'm really excited about. I've been doing this series called Freelance Fridays. If you don't watch those videos, that's fine. It's probably because you're not a freelancer or you're not interested in like my career. But um, yeah, I've been doing this series for like, I think I have like four or five episodes up now and I wanted to just switch it up a little bit and have some different perspectives because you know I can only speak from like the social media perspective and from you know my own experience so I have a woman on today I'm interviewing her her name's Crystal and she's a graphic designer and she is full-time freelance look out on Friday for that episode I think I'm putting this vlog up first and then I'll put that episode up on Friday and by the way a lot of you guys ask me like why do you never know when your videos are going up why are your vlogs delayed like 
why is it like not in order and stuff because i just told you i don't know when freelance friday is going up um the short answer to that is just safety like i don't like to vlog real time anymore i used to do weekly vlogs back when i was in college and like you know i was sharing my schedule with people like when i worked when i worked from home when i went to class stuff like that and like i just don't like people knowing that because it's just I don't know I'm paranoid and I don't like you know saying oh me and Norris are gonna go out of town next weekend and then like I don't like to put those videos up until we're already back from being out of town I don't like people to know if Norris is going out of town for a business trip and I'm here by myself like I just don't like people knowing that stuff before it's happening like I like them to know it after when we're both together and stuff so that's really why i don't vlog real time anymore you guys know it doesn't matter what day this is like what does it matter what date it is you know what i mean unless like it's like some event going on so side note yesterday was earth day it doesn't look as good as it looked last night because the arugula is a little wilted but it's really good I'm watching Brienne Barbie. She is a Michigan vlogger as well. All right, so that is a wrap. That was so fun. She's so nice. I cannot wait for you guys to see this episode. I was a little nervous. I don't know why. This is what I went to school for. Like, I know how to interview people, but I was a little nervous. So she probably thinks I'm a weirdo. Um, I know she thinks I'm a weirdo. Everybody, I mean, thinks I'm a weirdo, but that's okay. I really want to edit. That's what I always want to do. Like, as soon as I'm done with a video, I want to start working on editing it. But I think I might take a little bit of time because my boyfriend is, um, he's actually doing a freelance project himself today. So he's out shooting video for clients. And I think he'll be doing that probably, I think he said until like four. So I might just go to Target. So I got a little sidetrack. So I just stopped at Ulta. Um, it's in the same shopping plaza as Target. I'm in Allen Park right now. To go shop, I decide between like Allen Park or Oakland County. A lot of people ask me because there's no, um, wait, these aren't the glasses I want. There's no like Target or Meyer shopping center in Detroit proper. So I'm in Allen Park. I don't know. I usually choose Allen Park, even though I feel like the shopping isn't as nice out here. It's like a little bit less busy usually. So anyway, um, I just went to Ulta because I thought I'd stop in there in my last haul video that I posted yesterday. I got some a Makeup Revolution highlighter, which a Makeup Rev Revolution is basically like a brand that does like dupes of popular products essentially. I'd never heard of them before, but I really actually like the highlighter. I'm wearing it today. You probably can't like tell because of the sun and stuff. But um, I actually thought it was pretty good and I asked in that video like would you guys like to see more videos with their products because I saw that they had like a, a dupe for like a chocolate bar palette, a dupe lip kit and a couple of people said yeah so I figured I'd just stop in there and I guess I stopped in there on the right day because they're buy one get one half off today. So I got four things so um, I'll try those out probably next week I'll do like just a full video on them but if you're watching this check now at Ulta if you're interested because they were buy one get one half off um today's Sunday the 20 something 23rd or something so maybe they'll still be on sale maybe not and now I am going to Target and it looks like it's a you know what show here it's just crazy but yeah I need to get some vitamins and just a couple like household things the only thing I don't like about this Target compared to the one in, I think it's Madison Heights on DeQuinder, is that one is like a full grocery store. This one isn't. So I can never really buy food here. I only buy like bits and pieces of food here. But in um, Madison Heights, they have like a full on grocery store. So I do miss that. I probably should have went there because I do need food, but whatever. So I think I was thinking of a different Target. I think I was thinking of the Dearborn Target. The one in Allen Park does have like groceries, but I still didn't get anything useful. I literally got like chips, clementines, boxed mac and cheese, which I don't ever even eat. But I always like to buy like a box just in case like I literally have no food in the house. It's like easy to make. Vitamins, that's like all I got. So that was really not productive trip and Norris isn't home yet. I really would like to go out again because it's really nice out but we need to stop eating out so much. Like 
we we could afford it. We are fine health wise, I think, but it's just like a bad habit to get into, you know. And yes, I still have like wicked acne. Sorry if it's distracting. But these are the products that I got from Makeup Revolution. So I'll try these out next weekend and do a video. Um, I got the brow pomade. This was what looked like the closest to the chocolate bar palette in terms of colors. These are the colors in it. This thing, which I guess has this stuff. I hope it actually has this stuff in it because it says it's like to protect, oh, to protect you. To protect you or to protect your is that bad i'm so confused and then the lip kit which like i said in the last video these got pretty bad reviews um online so i figured i'd buy it anyway and just uh you know see all this stuff together was 36 dollars this is buy one get one half off so if it's decent that's a really good price considering you know you'd pay 40 dollars for a palette alone but I don't know if it's gonna be good. The lighting in here is not great, but here's just some sneak peek swatches. So this is of the like um, Death by Chocolate kind of chocolate bar palette. Off rip, I just have to say the packaging on all of these is awful. I had to like rip this one to get it open. Not my like my nails looked good before, but like this happened, like it's just wild. So I'll be doing the nails tonight. But anyway, this is from the eyeshadow palette. Definitely not a great quality um, thing, just like first glance, first impression, but this was like two swipes to get it this pigmented, but we'll see how it looks over primer and stuff. This is the lip kit. I really like the colors and actually the lip liner felt really smooth. So like I said, they got pretty bad reviews, so I'm not sure why. So I'll have to like see on my lips, obviously. Um, and then this is the, this thing, which is like the bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So in a row, left to right, bronzer, blush, highlighter. Bronzer was pretty chalky, but I mean, the other ones look fine. So yeah, I'm excited to try these out. So for now, I'm gonna put these in this box with my other, car oh, this is just the outside to the Carly palette, but where is it? It's in here. The second Carly Bible palette is in here, which I'm giving away. So I'm just gonna store these in here for now for like makeup that I'm gonna try out for you guys. And in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna give Norris like 30 minutes um, he said he should be done around four or five. So if he doesn't let me know that he's on his way by, you know, that time, then I'm going to make myself something to eat. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to start editing the interview that I did with Crystal for Freelance Friday. So I think I'm going to sit outside and do it too on my laptop. I was going to use my iMac because my iMac processes a lot faster, but it doesn't really matter. I don't need it up till Friday. So I think I'm going to sit outside and edit because it's really nice out. And I'm going to maybe munch on these. <laughs> I am eating like a little baby. I'm eating, these are broccoli bites. They're by the brand Dr. Prager's. They're so good. They're almost remind me of like chicken nuggets or something, but they're just broccoli and they're gluten-free. Um, they're like baked broccoli. And this is by the brand Evolve. I always see it. It's like frozen meal kind of thing, but I've never tried anything. It's smoked Gouda, gluten-free mac and cheese. It smells so good. I don't like to eat too much of this stuff, the like TV dinner type stuff, but... Norris wasn't hungry, so I didn't want to go anywhere, and I didn't want to make a big meal for us. So just a little childlike lunch dinner thing. It's like 6.30, so I guess this is dinner. I'll show you a little sneak peek of um, my Freelance Friday episode. I like to do. Yeah, cool. So a lot of the people who watch and listen are also, they're kind of stuck in that in-between where they're working a full-time job. So anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I feel like I have a ton of clips and um, nothing really too exciting going on. We're just editing, going to eat my food, and then we're probably going to watch some trash TV later tonight and get ready for the week. So thank you so much for watching. I will vlog again soon because I will be doing some traveling in the next few weeks. So um, I'll definitely be vlogging that. And it's springtime. So I feel like we're always out doing stuff now, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tune in. I just like choked on my own spit. That was sick. Make sure to tune in on Friday if you would like to see the completed version of this interview with Crystal. I'm really excited about it. I think it all turned out pretty good. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video on Friday and in my next vlog probably sometime next week. Bye!